We're in a different habitat than we were in earlier. As the Apalachicola River courses its way downstream, we go from the steep upland slope forest ravines to pine forest, but then everything flattens out. And with flatness, we get water. We're not very far from the Gulf. We're only about 10 miles north. And the habitat behind me is named the same thing as a similar habitat in Africa. That is the savanna. Our savanna doesn't have elephants, it doesn't have giraffes like Africa does, but what it does have are carnivorous plants, one of the coolest plants in the entire world. Let's check them out. Down here, we have a great example of a carnivorous plant, one of my favorites. It's called the parrot pitcher plant. And parrot pitcher plants, unlike a lot of other pitcher plants, grow low to the ground because it's a specialist in standing water, which if you look around me, you'll see that I'm in, in water right now. You might think that's a strange place to capture prey. How does this thing work? Let's look here. I found this lying on the ground, this plant. I didn't pull it off, but it allows us to take a look at how this plant captures its prey. The plant's shaped like a lobster trap. If you don't know what a lobster trap is, basically it allows things to go in really easily but it prevents them from coming out. You'll notice a little hole. Now around that hole is thick secretions of nectar. Insects like ants and other water creatures love nectar. So let's say I'm a water flea. I, I, I guess I kind of look like a water flea. So I'm swimming along in the water and I come to this hole. I start drinking the nectar and I'm like, hmm, interesting. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a closer look. So I go into the hole and this plant, if you look, it kind of curves back. And so the insect, the water flea, me, is going in and I say, okay, well the tunnel keeps going this way. I'm gonna keep going. Check this out. Once I'm inside, you'll start to see something that's totally unique to pitcher plants. Downward pointing hairs. Again, it's really easy to go down, but to go back up, you have to work against these hard prickly hairs and animals have a tough time doing that. Before they know it, they're at the bottom of the plant. And at the bottom of the plant, creepy little digestive enzymes that are secreted by the plant and work just like our stomach does. They digest the insect, turn it into nutrients, and allow the plant to absorb it. It's not the most pleasant way to die if you're a water flea, but how cool is that? This is just one of several carnivorous plant species in the area. In fact, the savannas of Apalachicola National Forest have the world's highest diversity of carnivorous plants.